Hello again, Alex, also known as Solanus Dracone, once more with my advanced recording series. On the last episode, I talked about the software you will need to begin your journey into better audio balancing. Today, we're going to talk about the settings within OBS to translate this into a multi-track recording, how to extract those extra tracks, and how to edit them into the final video project. It's going to be a little long, so I hope you've got the time. So, back on OBS, and into the settings, we're going to make a trip to the Output section. Under Recording, you will want to make sure, firstly, that your recording format is MP4, or MKV, or something like that. FLV does not support multi-track encoding, so potatoes, I hope you've gone to the video section and set your canvas resolution to 1280 by 720. Also, while we're in here, we need to make sure we have three audio tracks checked. We are enabling the number of audio tracks that are going to exist within your recording. Under the audio section, we're going to either set up our desktop device 2 or mic 2 to cable output VB Audio Virtual Cable. This is what allows us to get the audio into the recording from Discord as a separate stream. Once you've gotten those boxes ticked and the drop downs dropped, we return to the primary interface. Here is where the magic happens. Go to Edit and Advanced Audio Properties. Here you'll probably see all the boxes checked for all the tracks. We're going to need to do some tidying up here. First uncheck all the boxes. Now then, I suggest we set our Mic 1 as Track 1 only, Mic 2 as Track 2, and Desktop Audio as Track 3. When the recording is taking place, this will set each individual audio stream to being their own separate things. This will be important shortly. Now then, you are likely to notice that under your mixer on the OBS interface you have an additional device. Adjust things around how you want, but frankly there's no reason to adjust anything here. Slam all those volume tracks up to the max, trust me. Now then, this is all the OBS setup you need to do, but you need to bear something in mind. Not all players out there, or video editors for that matter, can see these multiple tracks to use them. Video pad is lax in that regard, sadly, but you get what you pay for. Even the paid version doesn't support multi-track audio that I know of anyways. This is where we bring in the one we have been saving for, Audacity. This is where the magic all comes together. This is where we bring everything home to roost. First and foremost, you will need to have Audacity. Google search will find that for you. You want the downloads page. Here you can get Audacity, but you will also want to download FFmpeg and Lame MP3 Encoder. You'll have to follow a bit of clicky, linky chain to get to it, but you'll be fine. Both LAME and FFmpeg will be downloaded from buonzo.org. It's easier to download and install the executables because they'll be put in the right places automatically then, because these are specifically intended executables for Audacity. Once those are downloaded, here's how we go about setting them up. Open up Audacity. First, let's get some setup going. On your bottom left, the project rate. The higher this is, the better, but there is a problem with increasing your bitrate past what's been recorded. I'd say keep it at a nice safe 48,000 Hz. Now, if you did the EXE installers for FFmpeg and LAME, you should be okay. But just to be double sure, go to Edit, Preferences, and then Libraries. If your MP3 library and FFmpeg library both say the current versions, great, you're done. Now then, now, now, now. Where does this leave us, you might wonder? Well, now is the time we can bring everything full circle. Go ahead and record some gameplay while chatting with a friend. If everything is right, then your mic track volume will be jittering when you speak, your desktop audio will be jittering with your game music, and your mic tube will be jittering with your friend's voice. Please note, you are not free from having to adjust the volume of the game in order to clearly hear your friend. Use a Windows Volume Mixer for that, if you're wise. Just adjust it so you're comfy how loud the game is versus how loud your friend sounds. I promise, when we get to actually using Audacity, everything will be fine. That's a mighty big shield you're carrying there, mister. Mrs. Yes. Something. That is, that is the Boulder Side Shield. I've got Kylo the Nest Man with me. Kylo the Nest Man, check his channel out, link in the description. Kylo's a good Aww. long time. Aww. Kylo's a long time friend of mine, and he's actually benefited a bit 
from some of my specialized settings. So I have? You, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bitch. I'm sorry. You benefited. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to have Kylo hang out with me for the purposes of just getting his voice on things. And nice. And you know you need, to, you need to stream this or record it with me watching because I like me playing this game. Oh, well, we'll have to do that sometime. There's actually a Dark Souls remaster coming out. But let's let's just see your reactions. Let's see your reactions oh. to this particular boss. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. This is... this Because is, I know Dark Souls is hard as hell. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, 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 my goodness. Hmm. This. That's not something I'd want to get fucked by. This is called the Gaping Dragon. The ga- Oh my god, those teeth. Oh shit. The Gaping Dragon knows only hunger. I, I, I imagine so. But who's that thing with you? I saw a shadow disappear. Oh, that's like, just one, one of the left. left. Yeah, that's sort of a game world thing. Like, you know, if you're online, then you'll randomly see, like, just the shadows of other players doing their thing. You could never, ever get me to play this game. I'm wrapped up in Final Fantasy XIV, and that's where it's going to stay. Oh my god, the tail. Yep. I chopped the tail off because that can be a problem. I, I, see, I see that. He could use it to swipe at me. But believe it or not, this is actually one of the easiest, ridiculously easiest battles, boss battles really? in this game. Oh yeah. I can imagine this dude singing, I'm afraid of getting thinner, won't you please become my dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I I wonder I wonder if he's gonna I wonder if he's gonna vomit. If he I wonder if he's gonna do the barf thing. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, uh, he's gonna do the barf thing? No. No. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. I like, I like how his little head just flops around when I'm smacking it. Which head? Did, um, let me shut up. <laughs> I'm shutting up for a demo around Gaping Dragon. Oh, it's almost dead! Yes! He slices into the ditch! You know, the general Did I just see you cut out the sack? I saw sack among the, the, the things. Now, oh, why yeah. is your head a treasure chest mouth tongue? That is the symbol of Avarice. It's a mimic helm. And it's basically there just for me to gain extra experience from this fight. This is the sack. Oh this is this is the sack that you were talking yeah. about. Yeah, that you it, took off that po that that poor beast. No, the sack I got earlier. If you want to see what I got off that poor beast, here's what I got off that poor beast. I got oh. this motherfucking oh. thing. That looks like a nice big sack. Mm, that's a mighty full shack you're carrying around there. Oh, yeah. Why don't you bring it on down to my shed? We'll get some popsicles going. Mm. Mm. Uh. Alright. That is heavy. That is a yeah. heavy sack. Yeah, I can't I can't use that. That is that is not something that I'm geared towards using. Alright, so that's about all I needed you for on this. Thank you very much, Kylo the Nest Man, for being along with me. No problem, buddy. Thanks for having me. Peace. Alright, so we have our triple track recording. If you try to play the video file now, unless you have a media player which supports all three tracks at once, you're not going to hear all three of them. Do not panic. I promise they are all there. We just need to access them. Find your fresh, hot, steaming vid, right-click on it, and choose to open with Audacity. If you've never opened a file with Audacity before, it might not be on the list. Just choose another app and browse until you find Audacity. You obviously don't want to make this the default app for opening this type of file. Upon attempting to open the file in Audacity, you will be presented with a small dialog asking which tracks you want to import. You want it all! If it's a large file, it'll take a little bit to import. Just be patient. Alright then, look at all this loveliness. Isn't it amazing? Okay fine, you might be wondering what I'm on about. Here for you to see are all the three tracks from your recording session. If you set the tracks as I suggested in OBS, you'll know that the first track is Mic 1, yourself, the second track is Mic 2, your friend, and the third is the desktop audio, meaning your game. If you just did a solo recording session, then you can either avoid importing track 2, 
or when you have, simply exit out of the project, this little button right here. As you can see, this method accounts for everything. So you might want to consider doing a tiny bit of cleanup here. This is what I do to all my recorded files. First, you want to clean up any noise that might be happening on your track and your friend's track. It'll be a good idea to mute the two other tracks while doing this. Start off by selecting a small section of shallow fuzziness between the big spikes. Listen to it. Is it just random background noise? If so, then we'll want to remove that noise. With your section of tracks selected, go to Effect and then go to Noise Reduction. First, click Get Noise Profile. Once that's done and the window has closed out, Click somewhere on the left of the track involved, like where it says mono, 48,000 hertz, yada yada. That highlights the entire track. Now, go back to effect, then back to noise reduction. I personally like to set the noise reduction value to 12, but that's up to you and your tastes. Remember, if you have a game or other type of background audio going on in the video, oftentimes it will be louder than your background noise. Anyhow, click OK and there will be a few moments of processing. Once that's done, you'll see that the shallower bits between where you speak have become less shaggy. Play that same section over again. Still a bit too noisy for you? Well, you can undo and try another noise reduction pass, this time with the noise reduction set a teensy bit higher. But remember what I said, a lot of the time your desktop audio will be loud enough to mask it. Do the same for your friend's track. Mute the other two, unmute the friend's track, and select some shaggy in-betweens. As before, effects, noise reduction, get profile, select whole track, effects again, noise reduction again, 12, and go. With both of these done, there is another optional yet recommended step. I would suggest normalizing the voice tracks. Normalizing goes out and smooths out the rough edges on your voice or your friends. It'll help to get rid of moments where your voice or theirs sounds particularly screechy or piercingly loud. It effectively sets a max volume level on how loud the track may get. I've always found the default options to work just fine. So select the track in question, go to Effects, Normalize, and just hit OK. As you can see, the entire voice audio track has been drastically condensed, but we haven't lost any of our audio quality. There is more we can do, however. If it just so happens that a certain someone was snorting or coughing or otherwise making noise in the background, and you don't want that on your video, you can remove it. It is critically important that you pay very close attention to what I am about to say. When you find the offending bit of audio on yours or your friend's track, highlight it, and for the love of God, do not press delete. Okay, you can undo a delete, but you do not want to go just deleting sections of the track. Instead, what I suggest is just calmly and gently highlight the noise you want out and just press Control L. There, that's just silenced that bit of track. It's still in there, it's still a part of the overall length, but you haven't gone screwing up your track sync by foolishly deleting. Just silence things you don't want in the video. Now, is all that stuff, the noise reduction, the normalization, and the silencing of bits really necessary? No, not at all. You can absolutely ignore doing that stuff. But if you're one of my students, you won't. Okay, I'll make one small caveat for you. Since a lot of that unwanted sort of noise occurs in parts of the video you're probably going to crop out with your editor afterward, you don't have to go too nuts but I'd suggest you maybe keep track mentally while recording where those noises occurred. You're going to have a pretty good idea during the recording phase, most likely, of what you're going to keep and what you're going to cut. If the noises happen during those planned cutouts, don't sweat it. If it happened during an important part, you might want to silence it out. Now then, once you have the audio quality to your liking, it is time to do the balancing. I'd suggest saving this project, by the way, just in case you have something you want to come back to later. Save first, save often, save repeatedly. To balance, just play with all three tracks unmuted. Using the gain slider for each track, adjust gently down in increments of one decibel until you're comfy with it. Do the same for your friend's voice track. You can do this all live while you're playing. My suggestion would be to listen to a brief sample when the game audio is low, and then find a much louder section and play over that. 
If the game is too loud there, Vicar Amelia, then consider your options. Do you want to reduce the entire volume of the track, or just that one section? If you would want to adjust just that one section, here's how you do it. First, you might want to expand the track out. Drag it down like I just did. Next, select a clip of the overly loud stuff and highlight it. Then, press Ctrl I. This will split out that section of track. Next, you'll want to click the Envelope tool up here, and you can squish down the Too Loud audio portion until it's in line with the rest of it. Switch back to the Selection tool, and play over that portion of track. Sound better? Good. Save! Cardinal rules, so important, much pay attention to, wow. It is a bad idea to adjust gain up. No good comes from trying to upscale, I've told you this before. Always leave the lowest volume audio track as is. This is more likely than not to be your game audio, but it's not unheard of for it to be otherwise. If it is otherwise, then something probably went wrong during recording, and you should have caught that earlier. Shame on you. Oh well, if it can't be helped, it can't be helped. Adjust volumes down to incorporate all three tracks. The goal is to have your voice and your friend's voice be the same volume, and for the game audio to be audible just beneath them. You don't want it too low, but you don't want your conversation to be completely obscured by what's going on in the background either. Don't forget to unmute the tracks. Okay, once you're satisfied that everything is to your liking, and you've made sure you've unmuted all the tracks, it's time to export that bad boy. If you happen to have a good video editor that doesn't crash when trying to export from MP3 to MP3, then export as MP3, with the quality as insane as it gets. If you are using VideoPad Free Edition, and you happen to have the lame.exe bug, then you want to export as WAV, 32-bit float, please. By the way, if you've done a bunch of episodes as a marathon setting, either with your friend or alone, then the exact same gain settings will usually be just fine for each subsequent audio project. If anything changes, or if you want to be super safe, double check your adjustments and readjust accordingly. Put it somewhere you know you can find it. Hopefully your organizational skills are on point and kick back while it exports. It rarely takes very long. Okay, we're running short on time, but I'd be a bad teacher if I left you in a spot like this with nowhere to go, so I'm just going to show you how to cut in your new amended audio track in VideoPad. Start by importing all your files, including your fresh MP3 or WAV file, lay down your video file, right-click, and choose Unlink from Video, or Audio, depending upon which one you're focusing on. Then proceed to delete the existing audio track. Next bring down the polished audio track and line them up. The next bit is important if you use an outro as I do. Zoom in all the way and jump to the end of the video. You'll notice that there is just a tiny bit more video than audio, or sometimes more audio than video. It's much less than a frame, but it is a difference, and it can result in your outro being weird. Just click on the exact spot where these two mix, Split, and delete the offending bit of extra cancerous content. Then select both the audio and video tracks, right click and choose Group Selected Clips. Now these two are joined again, and when you go to split and chop things out, you don't have to individually select each one and delete both every stinking time. Of course, go ahead and toss in your intro or outro as applies, do your editing, and export as I've shown you in the basics. If you happen to have the full version of VideoPad, this would be a great time for lossless export, as long as you haven't dragged in any external video clips, which would result in audio desync, which would be bad. And there you have it, ladies and gents, the Advanced Series. Definitely shorter than the Basic Series. It is to be hoped that you have watched them all. Even the pros can benefit from going back to Basics once in a while. If you're already old hat at recording, I hope you found some value in my teachings. I've been doing this for over three years, and these videos represent the current culmination of my practice, my knowledge, my experience in producing content. Do I do it better than anyone else? Of course not. Do I do it better than most? Probably not that either. But I do seek out the easiest options within a budget. And that's it, the end of my recording tutorials. 
Of course, anytime I come upon a fix for a known bug, anytime something new comes out with any of these that needs to be mentioned, anytime that there's any kind of change to how I do things, I will put something out explaining the fix or change. So I uh, hope you'll stay tuned for that. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Once again, I am Alex, also known as Solidus Dracone, and this has been my advanced recording series. Goodbye!